a THOG video. Hello and welcome to Man Eating. Now today we're going to look at making a lovely, lovely breakfast. And the thing that we're going to cook for breakfast are egg waffles. Now if you've not seen these before, um, they're these waffle shaped things. Um, they're different to the potato waffles that you might have, possibly with your tea, in that these are, they have a lot more egg in them and not nearly as much potato. Um, and they taste different. So they're pretty much different things, they're just both called waffles. Now what I like to do is I like to toast them. Everything is better toasted. Well, not everything, but the vast majority of things. Ice cream, I've never tried toasting, but most things, bread related things and waffles, good to toast them. So, we're going to toast those bad boys. Because it's breakfast, we need a drink. I'll stick the kettle on. It isn't going to take very, very long at all. But while it's just toasting and kettleizing, we'll just have a look at the sort of things that we can put on our waffles. So we've got... These are just things in my cupboard. You might have your own things. One of the things that I don't have is chocolate spread, and I think that will be fantastic. But I don't have that, so obviously I'm not going to use it. Um, I've got golden syrup, though. It's very, very nice with golden syrup. Honey. Quite similar to the golden syrup, but tastes more like honey and less like golden syrup. Jam, now I've just got some basic, simple, simply mixed fruit jam here, but you can use whatever sort of jam you want. And I've got lemon curd. Lemon curd is absolutely fantastic. I love lemon curd. It's very rare that we don't have a jar of this in the house because my son always has it for breakfast. Um, well, not just a jar, he has to put some lemon curd on. But, you get where I'm coming from. Okay, those waffles are coming through nicely, so they're going to be ready in a minute, so... Let's get our condiments ready. There's the jam. There's the lemon curd. Oh yeah. Breakfast, need a coffee. Ah. No mugs available. So. We're making coffee with egg cups. Maybe not that one, because that one's still dirty from the last time I made coffee with egg cups. Don't worry about the waffles. They have, they're finished now. But I quite like just to leave them, just to rest from it. It kind of hardens them up and makes them a little bit crispier. Coffee. So we just put a little bit into each, each egg cup. Like so. Leaving room for milk, of course, or if you like milk, if you don't, then obviously you won't put milk in. Maybe some sugar, even if, if you like your coffee sweetened. One, two, three. And the good thing about using egg cups for your coffee is if you like me, you're not very good at making coffee, they're all going to be slightly different. So the odds are at least one of them will be nice. So, we've got our waffles here. Do be careful taking them out of the toaster because they are a little bit warm. That's another reason to leave them to rest just for a moment. Don't use a metal implement to get the things out of the toaster because you might electrocute yourself. And more importantly, break the toaster. So we'll do one with a bit of lemon curd. One with jam. Now I'm doing these ones, but to be quite honest, I prefer it with the squeezy. One of the squeezy 
is less effort. But secondly, and particularly to waffles, this particular architecture of the waffle with these little sort of self-contained segments is quite hard to spread with a knife into. It's a lot easier if you've got your squeezy honey or your squeezy golden syrup or whatever your squeezy stuff is to just sort of squeeze it. Okay, that's not actually moving. Right, we'll sort of leave that one and hopefully it'll, it'll come down by the time I finish talking. I'll take the golden syrup. You can squeeze it into the departments. You can be a lot more targeted with your squeezy bottle of condiment as opposed to just spreading it on. Spreading works fine for toast, you know, absolutely fine for toast, but for waffles, you need. The squeeziness does help. Okay, let's see if that's working now. Yep, that's not like it. Brilliant. Plus, let's be honest, squeezy bottles are just cooler, aren't they? And it means you don't have to wash a knife up. Which is always an important consideration, is how much washing up is this going to create afterwards. So, there we are. I've got my lovely tasty waffles, and just to display what I was talking about there. Now this, I'll take this one because it's easy to show, that one. The jam, as you can see, we've only really got jam into maybe eight of the um, segments. Whereas with the golden syrup, we've squeezed it neatly into each one, and it's a kind of an even amount in each one more or less. So, you're not going to get, oh, this one's full of golden syrup, tasty, tasty, oh, this one hasn't got anything in it, unhappy Mike. So, in a nutshell, that's how you make your egg waffle breakfast. Cheers! Ooh. Ah. Oh yeah, uh, bye!